With thousands of new buildings being constructed every year, the ranking of the world's tallest buildings is constantly changing. So for today's video, we're counting down the top 15 tallest buildings in the world. Starting with number 15, the Lakta Center, St. Petersburg. First designed by the British architectural firm RMJM and continued by Gore Project, the Lakta Center is an 87-story skyscraper built in the northwestern neighborhood of Lakta in St. Petersburg, Russia. Standing at 1,516 feet tall, it's the tallest building in both Russia and Europe, and the 16th tallest building in the world. It's also the second tallest structure in Russia and Europe, behind the Aston Kino Tower in Moscow, in addition to being the second tallest twisted building and the northernmost skyscraper in the world. Construction of this center started on October 30, 2012, with the building topping out on 29th of January 2018, surpassing the Vostok Tower of the Federation Towers in Moscow as the tallest building in Russia and Europe on October 5, 2017. The predecessor of the tower, the Okta Tower, was originally planned to be more centrally located in the city center of St. Petersburg. However, the historical center has been a World Heritage Site since 1990. The World Heritage Committee opposed the construction of the tower, as it would affect the cityscape of historic St. Petersburg. In December 2006, UNESCO World Heritage Center director Francesco Bandaran also reminded Russia about its obligation to preserve it and express concern over the project. In addition to this, in 2007, the World Monuments Fund placed the historic skyline of St. Petersburg on its 2008 watch list of 100 most endangered sites due to the potential construction of the building. Due to this backlash on the original proposition, the Okta Center, which had been planned by Gazprom to be in front of a cathedral, was moved to Lakta. So yeah, this impressive building has not been without its controversies, but what would Russia be without controversies? Number 14. Central Park Tower, New York At number 14 on our list is one seriously skinny skyscraper on Billionaire's Row in iconic New York City. With a slenderness ratio of 14 to 1 and designed by Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill Architecture, this slender 98-story skyscraper stands at 1,550 feet. But weirdly, the numbers don't really add up here. It's got 98 stories, but the top story is numbered 136. While the eastern portion of the tower features a cantilever, which provides an incredible view of Central Park, and the residential portion plays host to 179 condominiums, which most of us wouldn't be able to afford even if we live for several lifetimes. Central Park Tower is also known as the Nordstrom Tower. It's located at 225 West 57th Street. If you want to live amongst the clouds, then residential skyscrapers don't come much higher than this. With 98 above-ground stories, the tower is the tallest residential building in the world, the second tallest building in New York City, and the tallest building outside Asia by roof height. Needless to say, the tower plays host to a wide variety of luxury apartments, for which you only need to make a few billion dollars a year before considering the purchase. These include those 179 condominiums, which span an average 5,000 square feet, just in case you feel cramped and claustrophobic by other luxurious living spaces. Not only that, the building contains a variety of rich people amenities, not to mention a private club for residents on floor 100, and a cantilever, which maximizes the views over Central Park. Number 13. International Commerce Center, Hong Kong the International Commerce Center is a 108-story, 1,588-foot super-tall skyscraper on top of Elements Mall and near Kowloon Station in Hong Kong. It's the world's 13th tallest building by height, 10th tallest by the number of floors, but also Hong Kong's tallest and only building with over 100 stories. The official height takes in the 6-meter tall parapets on the roof, making it the world's 4th tallest and 3rd in Asia when it was completed in 2010. MTR Corporation Limited and Sung Hong Kai Properties, Hong Kong's metro operator and largest property developer, respectively, were responsible for the development of this skyscraper. Known in development as Union Square Phase 7, its current name was officially announced in 2005. It was completed in phases from 2007 to 2010. The tower opened in 2011, with the Ritz-Carlton opening in late March and the Observatory in early April. The height had to be scaled back from earlier plans due to regulations that didn't allow buildings to be taller than the surrounding mountains. The original proposal for this was a building called Kowloon Station Phase 7, and it was designed to be 1,883 feet tall with 102 floors. It would have risen 531 feet over the then-current tallest in Hong Kong, Two International Finance Center, 
Now, this tower was designed by the American architectural firm Cohn Peterson and Fox Associates in association with Wang Ouyang, and it was built by Sandfield, the construction subsidiary of Song Hong Kai. It takes only 68 seconds to the world's 14th highest observation deck, Sky 100, from the lobby on Level 2, along with Elements and the Skyway behind the main entrance of Sky 100 to the West Kowloon Cultural District. The Ritz-Carlton, Hong Kong, occupies levels 3, 8, 9, and the top 17 floors, offering 312 rooms, as well as the world's highest bar, fitness center, and swimming pool all set on the top floor. The building also hosts the ICC Light and Music Show, which set a new Guinness World Record for the largest light and sound show on a single building. That's pretty impressive. Number 12. The Shanghai World Financial Center the Shanghai World Financial Center is a super-tall skyscraper located in the Pudong District of Shanghai. It was designed by Cohn, Peterson, and Fox and developed by Mori Building Company, with Leslie Robertson Associates as its structural engineer and China State Construction Engineering Corp. and Shanghai Construction General Company as its main contractor. It is a mixed-use skyscraper consisting of offices, hotels, conference rooms, observation decks, and ground-floor shopping malls. Park Hyatt Shanghai is the tower's hotel component, comprising 174 rooms and suites, occupying the 79th to the 93rd floors, which at the time of completion was the highest hotel in the world. It's now the third highest hotel in the world after the Ritz-Carlton Hong Kong, which occupies floors 102 to 118. On September 14, 2007, the skyscraper was topped out at 1,614.2 feet, making it the second tallest building in the world upon completion, the tallest building in the world by roof height only, and the tallest in China. It opened to the public on the 28th of August, 2008, with its observation deck opening on the 30th of August, offering views from over 1,500 feet above ground level. It has been lauded for its design and in 2008 was named by architects as the year's best completed skyscraper. In 2013, it was exceeding the height of the adjacent Shanghai Tower, which is China's tallest structure as of 2023. Together, the Shanghai World Financial Center, the Shanghai Tower, and the Jin Mao Tower form the world's first adjacent grouping of three super-tall skyscrapers. Number 11. Taipei 101 Taipei 101, formerly known as the Taipei World Financial Center, is a skyscraper in the capital of Taiwan, Taipei. It's owned by the Taipei Financial Center Corporation. The building was officially classified as the world's tallest from its opening on December 31st of 2004. However, the Burj Khalifa surpassed Taipei 101 in 2009. Upon completion, it also became the world's first skyscraper to exceed a height of half a kilometer. As of 2023, Taipei 101 is the tallest building in Taiwan and the 11th tallest building in the world. The elevators of Taipei 101 that transport passengers from the 5th to the 89th floor in 37 seconds set speed records. And in 2011, it was awarded a platinum certificate rating under the LEED certification system for energy efficiency and environmental design. The structure regularly appears as an icon of Taipei in international media, and the Taipei 101 fireworks display are a regular feature of New Year's Eve. Its design incorporates a number of features that enable it to withstand the Pacific Ring of Fire's earthquakes and the region's tropical storms. The tower houses offices, restaurants, shops, and indoor and outdoor observatories. It's adjoined by a multi-level shopping mall that has the world's largest Ruyi symbol as an exterior feature. And in 2019, it was named among the 50 most influential skyscrapers in the world by the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat. Number 10. The Siddiq Tower, Beijing The Siddiq Tower, otherwise known as China Zun, is a super-tall skyscraper in the central business district of Beijing, China. The 109-story, 1,732-foot building constructed by China Construction 3rd Engineering Bureau is the tallest in the city, surpassing China World Trade Center Tower 3 by 620 feet. The tower structurally topped out on July 9, 2017, and fully topped out on August 18, 2017, and was completed in late 2018, making the tower the tallest completed building of 2018. The nickname China Zun comes from the Zun, an ancient Chinese wine vessel which inspired the building's design, according to the developers, the Siddiq Group. The groundbreaking ceremony of the building took place in Beijing on September 19, 2011, and the constructors expected to finish the project within five years. The tower is now likely to remain the tallest building in Beijing for the foreseeable future, as in 2018 authorities capped new projects in the central business district to a height of no more than 180 meters or 590 feet in a bid to reduce congestion. 
However, this tower has also known its fair share of controversy. In April 2018, Hong Kong newspaper Ming Pao reported that China's Zun's top three floors, level 106 through 107, and an observatory on level 108 were to be expropriated by the national security apparatus, since the entire complex, the headquarters of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China and the State Council of the People's Republic of China, could be seen from the top of the skyscraper with the naked eye. It's also said that with high-end telescopes and other monitoring equipment, the day-to-day -day lives and activities of the party and state leaders could be seen. Number 9. The Tianjin CTF Financial Center, Tianjin, China This one is a super-tall skyscraper located in Tianjin Economic Technological Development Area, a central business district of Binhai, Tianjin, China. Construction started in 2013 and was completed in 2019. At 1,739 feet and with 97 floors, this tower is the second tallest building in the municipal Tianjin after the Gold Finance 117, the eighth tallest building in the world, and the tallest building in the world with fewer than 100 floors. The building was honored with the Tall Slash Slender Structure Award at the 2021 awards ceremony by the Institution of Structural Engineers. The building, which looks like it has a softly curving glass skin, integrates eight sloping mega columns that follow a lyrical line, connecting the centers and corners of all four elevations. They're effective in increasing the stiffness of the building's perimeter frame, consequently absorbing a larger portion of the seismic forces in compliance with the Chinese code requirements. The facade reinforces that curvature of the tower and forms a shimmering texture over the building's surface. This crystalline-like curtain wall stretches from the suspended glass canopies at each of the lobbies to the dematerialized mega-column looped crown and presents a bold expression of a comprehensive, integrated design on the skyline. The gently undulating curves of the facade subtly denote the integration of three distinct programs within a singular smooth object. Square in plan with rounded corners, the floor plate geometry enables unique interior fit-outs and customization options for occupants. The building's aerodynamic shape greatly reduces the vortex shedding by confusing the wind and disrupting the opportunity for any resonating wind forces and loads on the structure. It's also designed so that in the daytime, the building will refract the sunlight to show various colors, and at night, the top of the inclined tower glows like a diamond. Number 8. Guangzhou CTF Finance Center The Guangzhou Chao Tai Fuk Finance Center, also called East Tower, is a 1,739-foot-tall mixed-use skyscraper in Guangdong, which was completed in October of 2016. It's the tallest completed building in Guangzhou, the third tallest in China, and the eighth tallest in the world. It's got a total of 111 above ground and five below ground floors, and houses a shopping mall, offices, apartments, and a hotel. It has a gross floor area of over 5.4 million square feet, of which a little over 20% is not part of the skyscraper itself, but of the podium connected to it. The center is also part of the Guangzhou Twin Towers, the other tower of the pair, the 1,439-foot-tall International Finance Center, is located on the other side of the axis, and it's also known under the name West Tower. Both towers have a similar height, size, and function, and are situated close to the Canton Tower. The shape of the CTF Finance Center is defined by its mixed usage. The different uses require different floor sizes, and the building is shaped to accommodate those demands. Namely, as the skyscraper has setbacks at points where the usage changes, located between the offices and the apartments, between the apartments and the hotel, and between the hotel and the crown of the building. They're also angled and contain parapets with sky terraces. Different techniques were used to make the finance center more environmentally friendly. For example, it's got efficient chillers and the podium's roof features solar panels. Moreover, the heat from the condensers of the chillers is recovered. Moving on to number seven, One World Trade Center, New York City. One World Trade Center, also known as One World Trade, 1WTC, and formerly called the Freedom Tower during initial planning stages, is the main building of the rebuilt World Trade Center complex in Lower Manhattan, New York City. It was designed by David Childs of Skidmore, Owings & Merrill. One World Trade is the tallest building in the United States, the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere, and the seventh tallest in the world. This super-tall structure has got the same name as the North Tower of the original World Trade Center, which was destroyed in the terrorist attacks on September 11th. The new skyscraper stands on the northwest corner of the 16-acre World Trade Center site, on the site of the original Six World Trade. The construction of below-ground utility relocations, footings, and foundations for the new building began on April 27, 2006. 
One World Trade has become the tallest structure in New York City on April 30th, 2012, when it surpassed the height of the Empire State Building. The final component of the skyscraper's spire was installed, making the building, including its spire, reach a total height of 1,776 feet. Its height in feet is a deliberate reference to the year when the United States Declaration of Independence was signed. The building opened on November 3, 2014, with the One World Observatory opening May 29, 2015. The Port Authority of New York and New Jersey confirmed that the building would be officially known by its legal name of One World Trade Center, rather than its colloquial name of Freedom Tower. Number 6. The Lot World Tower, Seoul The Lot World Tower is 1,821 feet tall, located in Seoul, South Korea. It is the sixth tallest building in the world, the tallest in the OECD countries, and the first in South Korea to be over 100 stories. When completed in 2016, though, it was surpassed by the 1,965-foot-tall building in Ping'an Finance Center in Shenzhen, China, which opened on March 28, 2017. A sky bridge tour is located on the roof of the tower at 1,775 feet, which is the total height of the previous entry on our list. However, this building has some serious illegality associated with it over the years. In 2013 and 2014, for instance, three construction workers died during the construction of the tower, and an executive director of its construction arm was given a suspended sentence of eight months and imprisoned for his role in neglecting safety measures at the site. And then in December 2014, the Seoul city government ordered the mall and cinema complex at the base of the tower to be closed for five months after water was found leaking from an internal aquarium. Although independent engineers who assessed the building found that the issues bore little relation to the overall structural integrity. On a slightly smaller scale, in 2016, two men from Ukraine illegally climbed the under-construction Lot World Tower via its stairs, and one of them free solo climbed up to the crane on the top. Following the climb, the tower released posters with the photos of the two and banned them from the building. But they weren't the only unwanted visitors. On June 12, 2023, a 24-year-old British man illegally climbed the tower without ropes from the ground. The building's security discovered him on the 42nd floor, and police eventually stopped him on the 72nd floor. After his arrest, he said that he planned the climb for six months. So you can't really help but admire his ambition. Number 5. Ping'an Finance Center, Shenzhen all right, we've already mentioned this one, the Ping'an Finance Center. It's 1,966 feet tall. It's in Guangdong in Shenzhen, China. The building was commissioned by Ping'an Insurance and designed by the American architectural firm Cohen Peterson Fox Associates. It was completed in 2017 and is the tallest building in Shenzhen, the second tallest building in China, and the fifth tallest in the world. It also broke the record of having the highest observation deck in a building at 1,844 feet. It's the second largest skyscraper in the world by floor area after the Azabudai Hills main tower in Tokyo, Japan. The building contains office, hotel and retail spaces, a conference center, and a high-end shopping mall. An observation deck named Free Sky is located on floor 116, and as its name suggests, it's also the headquarters of the Ping'an Insurance. The design of the building is meant to be unique and elegant, and to represent the history and achievements of the main tenant. A stainless steel facade that weighs approximately 1,700 metric tons provides a modern design to the building. And just like our previous entry, this building has seen its fair share of climbers. In January 2015, daredevil Malaysian photographer Kyo Wee Long climbed the then-incomplete building and released video footage and a photo taken from a crane at the tower's top. The structure was subsequently climbed during the period of the Chinese New Year on February 19, 2015 by two Russians and Ukrainian urban explorers. Vadim Makarov and Vitaly Raskolov, who further climbed out onto the crane above under construction tower and documented their ascent with videos and photos. Number 4. The Maka Royal Clock Tower, Mecca The word breathtaking is really overused these days, but it is certainly relevant when it comes to the next entry on our list. As the fourth tallest building in the world, with the world's largest clock face, the clock tower of the Abraj al Bayit Towers is like Big Ben on steroids. Not only that, but this 600-meter giant looks down on Islam's most sacred site, the Great Mosque of Mecca, which is not only an equally astounding structure to behold, but also an integral part to the everyday function of the towers themselves. In other words, the buildings contain two large prayer rooms capable of holding 10,000 people, along with a five-star hotel designed to accommodate the millions of pilgrims who make the annual trip to Mecca. 
Constructed by the Saudi Bin Laden Group, the Abraj al Bayi Towers is the world's second most expensive building, costing a total of $15 billion, and it stands on the original site of the Ajad Fortress, an 18th century Ottoman citadel. It is the sixth tallest freestanding structure in the world, surpassing the Ping'an Finance Center in Shenzhen, but shorter than the Burj Khalifa in Dubai in the UAE, the Merdeka 118 in Kuala Lumpur, and the Tokyo Skytree in Tokyo, Japan. Number 3. Shanghai Tower The Shanghai Tower is a 128-story, 2,073-foot-tall mega skyscraper in Pudong, Shanghai. It's the tallest building in China and the world's second tallest building by height to the architectural top. It's also the tallest and large LEED Platinum certified building in the world. It shares the record, along with the Ping'an Finance Center, of having the world's highest observation deck within a building or a structure, and had the world's second fastest elevators at a top speed of 20.5 meters per second until 2017. Designed by international firm Gensler and owned by Shanghai Municipal Government, it's the tallest of the world's first triple adjacent super tall buildings in Pudong, the other two being the Jin Mao Tower and the Shanghai World Financial Center. Its tiered construction, designed for high efficiency, provides nine separate zones divided between office, retail, and leisure space. Construction work on the tower began in November of 2008, and it topped out on August 4th of 2013. The exterior was completed in the summer of 2015, although the building was originally scheduled to be open to the public in November 2014. The actual public use date was shifted to February 2015. The observation deck was open to visitors in July of 2016, and the period from July through September was termed a test run or a commissioning period. Since April 26, 2017, the sightseeing deck on the 118th floor has been open to the public, and it now takes its rightful place as number three on our list. Number 2. Merdeka 118, Kuala Lumpur Merdeka 118, formerly known as Manara Warasan Merdeka, is a 118-story, megatall skyscraper in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. At 2,227 feet tall, it's the second tallest building and structure in the world, only behind the building at our number one spot, but well, let's leave that as a surprise. The building's name, Merdeka, which means independence in Malay, is inspired by its proximity to Stadium Merdeka. The spire of the building was completed in October of 2021, which marked its final height of 2,227 feet above the ground and 2,300 feet above sea level. The building will also be the first in Malaysia to receive a triple platinum rating from worldwide sustainability certifications, including Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, the LEED certification. The building is a mix of office, hotels, and retail outlets, and an observation floor which has the highest observation deck in Southeast Asia. Actually, it's got two observation decks, the first inside the building and the second inside the spire. And plus, it's got a retail business center too. Many Malaysians have criticized this project, adding that it's unnecessary and a waste of public funds, having been funded by the PNB, a state-owned enterprise of the Malaysian government. Amounting to more than $5 billion, it said that money could have been better used for other practical causes, such as education or health care. And once again, there have been quite a few trespassers. In 2022, a viral video began circulating online when a group of American individuals trespassed towards the top of the building, prompting criticism that the lack of security measures at the site. That same year, another trespassing incident happened when Russian rooftoppers Angela Nikolaou and Ivan Berka scaled the top of Merdeka 118, prompting further criticism. Number 1. The Burj Khalifa, Dubai Of course, here it is, number 1. Standing at an incredible 2,722 feet is the Burj Khalifa, a skyscraper in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, which has been the tallest structure and building in the world since its topping out in 2009. The building is named in the honor of the ruler of Abu Dhabi and president of the United Arab Emirates, Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan, possibly because Abu Dhabi and the UAE government lent Dubai money to pay its debts. Designed by Adrian Smith of Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, the firm who were also responsible for the Willis Tower and One World Trade, Burj Khalifa was constructed due to the government's decision to diversify from an oil-based economy and for Dubai to gain international recognition. Well, it has certainly done that, and I'm not just talking about its appearance in several top five videos. Sadly, despite critical reception of the Burj Khalifa being generally positive, there were also numerous complaints concerning the treatment of migrant workers during construction. That construction began in 2004, with the exterior completed five years later in 2009. 
The primary structure is reinforced concrete and some structural steel for the building originated from the Palace of Republic in East Berlin in the former East German Parliament building. The building was opened in 2010 as part of a new development called Downtown Dubai. It was designed to be the centerpiece of a large-scale mixed-use development. Now, needless to say, the building broke numerous height records, including its designation as the tallest building in the world. The design is derived from an Islamic architecture of the region, such as the Great Mosque of Samarra. The Y-shaped tripartite floor geometry is designed to optimize residential and hotel space. A buttress central core and wings were used to support the height of the building. Although this design was derived from the Tower Palace III, the Burj Khalifa's central core houses all vertical transportation, except egress stairs within each of the wings. It contains a total of 57 elevators and 8 escalators. The critical reception of the Burj Khalifa has been generally positive, and the building has received many awards. Although despite this and its rightful place at number one on our list, it's hard to forget the criticisms regarding those migrant workers. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our channel members.